Hello, welcome to this short talk on propofol. Propofol is prepared as a 1 or 2% white lipid water emulsion. It comes in vials of 20, 50 or 100 mils. The chemical name for propofol is 2,6-diisopropylphenol. The dose of propofol is 1.5 to 2.5 milligrams per kilogram for adults and 3 to 5 milligrams per kilogram for children. The mechanism of action. Propofol potentiates GABA-A receptors. In addition to this, it may have some activity at cannabinoid receptors. Its uses include the induction and maintenance of anaesthesia, in sedation and in treatment of status epilepticus. Now to discuss the pharmacokinetics of propofol. It has protein binding of 98%, a volume of distribution of 4 litres per kilogram. It has a rapid distribution into the body's tissues, a half-life of 1 to 5 hours. However, the clinical effect of this is much shorter because of the aforementioned rapid distribution into the body's tissues. And the half-life can be increased in a patient with excess adipose tissue. For the metabolism and excretion, propofol undergoes hepatic metabolism. It is conjugated to inactive glucuronide. The clearance of propofol exceeds hepatic blood flow, and this would suggest there is extra hepatic metabolism. There are no active metabolites of propofol. Its chemical properties include, it is a weak acid, it is poorly water soluble, it has a pKa of 11 and a pH of 7. This means it mainly exists in its unionized form at a pH of 7.4. Now to discuss the effects or pharmacodynamics of propofol. For the cardiovascular system, it causes hypotension, a reduction in the stroke volume and a reduction in cardiac output. It causes nitric oxide production, which is responsible for the hypotension, and it also causes bradycardia. For the respiratory system, it causes respiratory depression, obtunding of the laryngeal reflex, an increase in respiratory rate initially, followed by a reduction in the respiratory rate, and it reduces the response to an increase in the PCO2. For the central nervous system, the drug is classified as a hypnotic. It causes a reduction in the cerebral perfusion pressure, a reduction in intracranial pressure, and a reduction in the cerebral oxygen consumption. It can cause myoclonic movements, and for the gastrointestinal system, it acts as an antiemetic, as an antagonist at dopamine receptors. The side effects of propofol include pain on injection. Paradoxically, it can be described to produce epileptiform movements. It is not licensed for long-term use in under 16-year-olds because of propofol-related infusion syndrome. Finally, it can cause green urine as a result of quinone metabolites. Thanks for watching this short video on propofol.